Hello everyone! 안녕하세요 여러분! Thank you for coming back for today's lesson. 오늘도 제 유튜브 채널을 찾아주셔서 감사합니다. In previous lesson, we talked about and how to combine the consonant vowels and consonant together. And the, here's the tips. So when you write the Korean, you always write from the left to the right and from the up to the bottom. So remember this consonant? It's ku sound. Right? So up to the bottom, left to the right. It is nu sound. Left to the right, up to the bottom, left to the right. And this is T sound. Okay? There's the first consonant and the final consonant, which is like last consonant or fi final consonant. Why we call the first consonant and last consonant like that, it's not only because the first consonant comes first and then the last consonant um, you write at the end. It's not only for that. It is also because the pronunciation is a little bit different. So today we are going to go over the final consonant and how it's different. First of all, gu, gu, ku. When those consonants comes first, it's gu, gu, ku sound. Remember? But if those consonants comes at the end as a last consonant or final consonant, it is only K sound. For example, gu, a, ak. It's kak, kak, kak. And if it's double consonant, it is also Cock, cock. And if it's like this, it is still cock, cock, cock. As first consonants, these are different sounds, but when it comes at the end, it's all same. But why we use all of those is because, let's say we have another syllable right here, this is E, and you write like this. When you read Korean, there's a rule. If you have this, this E, which has no sound as first consonant, and you have the last consonant here, the last consonant goes right here. So the pronunciation is, it's not kak, E. It's ka ki. Ka ki. And here, ka ki. And this one, ka ki. It's not the words, it's just an example. I just put uh, random stuff just to make you understand better why we use different consonants here, even though, like, it just itself. It's all same pronunciation, but when you combine together like with other other words, it sounds different. And also it is because the spelling, it depends on the spelling, you have same sounds, but it means different, you know? There's that type of words too. Simple one. As a first consonant, it is N sound, N sound, and also, the, as a final consonant, it is still N sound. The tricky one is this one. These are all the same. <laughs> all the same. It's just T sound. So, for example, I'll say A. Uh, it's AT. AT. At, 
Everything it's same sound, even though it's the same pronunciation with just one syllable. But when you combine it with other syllables, it sounds differently. For example, remember if you have this yu here, it doesn't have any sound. But if you have the final consonant in front of it, this final consonants move right here. So the pronunciation. Is ta da, ta da. Close the door. Bun ta da. And this one, when you combine with like hyun and yung together, it's just the yung sound. So you kind of like omit this one. It's a different rule, but you know I'm just showing you when you combine with other syllables, the pronunciation is different. So ta a. Uh. Even though here ta ta as itself. It's the same pronunciation, but when you combine with other syllables, it's it the pronunciation changes. So tada and ta. Ta means reach, reach. Tada close. Here's another example. So pat, pat. You can see those syllables that have different the final consonants. So as itself. Pat pat. The pronunciation is same, but when you have yun yun right here, it becomes pada 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 means receive pa te. So you can see it influences to the next syllable. So that's why, even though you know the single syllables with those last consonants, the pronunciation is the same. But it's very important to know right spelling which final consonant comes because it influences to the next syllable. I'd like to introduce how you can say the last syllable or final syllable in Korean. We say it patim, patim. So patida, so patida means support or hold. So patin, you know, like the final consonant is comes at the end. So it it seems like it's holding the consonant, the first consonant and the vowel. It's from the verb patida. So it's very important to know. The dictionary form of the verbs because you can conjugate all the verbs and to uh, make noun form or adjective forms or adverb forms. So, for example, patida is the uh, dictionary form of support, and you just remove ta, and if you add um. M sound here, patim. It is noun. Now, this is the noun form of uh, this verb. So that was extra information. One is a l sound. It is the same in the last consonant. And same thing, m sound. It is the same. In the last consonant, the those two, it's either B or P. If you're an English speaker, I think you will understand this better. Like with this expl explanation, up, up. For Korean people, it's the same thing. Like up, up. But English speakers, it's different, right? Up. Up, because you have the ending sound. You have to make the ending sound up, up, like that. But Korean, up, up. You don't have the ending, like that kind of like a whispering sound. Up, 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 up. It's the same. But when you have the syllable and the next to it, it 
comes like that. Yeah, this B sound goes right here, this P sound goes right here. So it's ABE and APE. So it's AP, AP, ABE, APE. And we have IN. This one, remember? As the first consonant, it doesn't have any sound, but if it's final consonant, the pronunciation is ng, ng sound, ng, ng. But you need to be careful, we don't pronounce the ending sound ng, ng, like that. It's just ng, ng. So, ng. You don't have any sound right here, and this is u. And this is N, this is N G ung 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 ung. The lesson is done, but I want to introduce very very good app I found. The name of the app is, and this is free. Do you know the Korean number one university? It's Seoul National University. Seoul National University made this. This is the app I talked about. So Seoul National University Language Education Institute. In L-E-I Hangul. You can practice all kinds of uh, consonants and vowels. So learning Hangul, let's explore vowels. Ah. See, you can even hear it. And you can practice writing. Ah. Ah. The reason why I am introducing this app now is because it's, the orders are different from my lesson. So I taught you the consonant first and then the vowel. But this app introduced the vowels first and then the consonant. So let's do the consonant. Ka. So it's already combined with the vowel together. If you don't know how to combine the consonant and vowel together, please watch the previous video ka. I uploaded. Ka. So when you learn language, I recommend you use as much as the senses you, you can use. So like, you know, you're looking at the letter and you're writing, you're touching, and also you're listening, you're hearing, you know, so you use, you know, all kinds of senses. So that's how you can remember better and longer. Like, let's see the final consonant ah. here. Ak. And also, I really like this one. So, gu sound, they put gu, k, k at the end. And it means they have all the same sound. It's all together. So let's see. You push this button. Ak. Ah. Ak. Ah. Ak. Ah. See? All, all the same. An. An. At. 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 All the same. I. I. Anyways, so you can explore that, and also there's test right here, so you can you can test yourself. Ka. Ka. Yay. Ka. To. I'm so good, right? To. <laughs> Ko. Okay, I just wanted to mention that I don't get any commission for this advertisement. <laughs> I just think this is so awesome, so I just wanted to share with you. I hope this app, I hope this app help you to remember and practice all the vowels and consonants and you know, they like combining together and you eventually get the sounds better. Thank you everyone. 감사합니다. I'll see you in the next video. 다음에 또 만나요.